Hello all. In release 96, we've had a few small changes when it comes to adding products into the sales order. Now previously, we, it, it was a bit confusing the way the layout was. So now what we can, you can see here we're in a sales order. If I go into the products, now what actually happens is my highlight or my tag is actually over the add product. So as you can see, I've got an onboard um, um, keyboard down here. So if I was to then hit enter here, I've already in the products. So then I can start typing in my products. Then I can hit tab straight away and it's taken me straight over to the unit of measure now. You can see this is highlighted. So then I could just sort of downwards arrow, uh, hit tab on the carton and I could put in my quantity, hit tab and hit enter. Now there was always, you know, there's always different views on how to do this, but what we found was that the feedback we had was was staff were you missing the unit of measure. Um, so they would be going to do a pallet, but it, the base unit of measure was a carton, so they missed it. So the, the call was to us if we could um, rearrange these, have it a bit more streamlined, and also at the same time we tried to fix the keystrokes because we know, you know, we have a lot of people manually entering in sales orders. So yeah, so it just makes it a lot easier. So I'll just quickly go over it again. So if I go back into this sales order, if I click on products, I'm already highlighted over the add product. I can just come in and hit enter on here. I can type straight away, no mouse keyboard, uh, mouse strokes or anything like that. Uh, come straight on over into the unit of measure, arrow down, yes, I want cartons, tab and hit in 12, tab and then enter. And we're straight away into our sales order. But anyway, it's just a little thing we've done to try and streamline the actual data entry and just try and make it a little bit more fail safe when people are actually manually entering in sales orders. So.